Jessie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm so happy you found Jessie's Shelf. This is my YouTube channel where I talk about books, tea, and I sometimes do videos with my dog Sadie. There's a little bit of everything here on Jessie's Shelf, so take a look around. You'll probably find something you're looking for. At least I hope you do. And you know what? If you love books, this is the place to be because this is mostly a booktube channel. But anyways, from the title, you guys can probably tell this is a book related video. I'm doing my May book haul for you guys. I'm a little bit earlier than I usually like to since I started doing monthly collective hauls, but honestly, I better not be buying any more books this month. I have 19 books to talk to you guys about, which is quite a bit, in my opinion. I'm trying not to buy as many books. It's a goal, and it's not working, but um, I will say May was my birthday month. I turned 25, and I got one book as a gift. And then I bought the rest with uh, a gift card I got from MasterCard from Amazon. So I bought most of these books. So yeah, they were gifts to me from me. <laughs> Woo, happy birthday to me. I also have an ARC I wanna talk to you guys about, but yeah. Um, so let's get started. I guess I'll start out with the ARC I got from Thomas Allen and Sons. Um, Amber sent me this. Thank you so much, Amber. And that is All the Little Lights by Jamie McGuire. Amber and I are friends on Goodreads and I had no idea she worked for a publishing company. She contacted me and said, hey, I see that you want to read All the Little Lights by Jamie McGuire. Do you want me to send you a copy? And I'm like, yes, I hell yeah. I want you to send me a copy, please and thank you. So I'm really excited. Thank you so much, Amber. Um, I love Jamie McGuire. She's a new adult writer and she is my favorite new adult author and um, this is about a photographer and his muse that's all I really know the cover is beautiful and I'm so excited to read this it comes out May 29th I don't think I'll read it by then but hopefully I will read this soon and have a review up for you guys thank you so much again Amber and Thomas Allen's and Sons this next book was a gift from Sean he was kind enough to get me a book for my birthday and he got me children of blood and bone I'm very excited for this I know it's kind of like an African fable myth and the magic is gone and there's a girl trying to get magic back. That's all I really know. I freaking love the cover and everybody who reads this loves this so I'm hoping I really enjoy it too. And now moving on to the books I bought for myself. I'm going to start out with Precious Cargo by Craig Davidson. This is the author's memoir. He was a bus driver for um, special needs kids. I think this book is really going to tug up my heartstrings. I hear it's very funny and heartfelt and it's just teaches you a lot of life lessons, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I also picked up American War, another 2018 Canada Reads book. I now own all of them, so now I just have to read them. All I know with this one is it is about like the second civil war in America. That's all I really know. I also purchased Play by Kylie Scott, book two in her Stage Dive series. I read the first book, Lick, last summer, and it was one of the better um, new adult books I read. I really like her writing style, so I'm really looking forward to this one. This one is about Mal, the drummer, who I really liked in the first book, so I'm thinking this is going to be hilarious and probably sexy. Now this next book is from a journal that I've never read before and I honestly didn't think I would be interested in this journal, but it's been blowing up all over booktube so I thought I'd give a cozy mystery a try. So I picked up Pancakes and Corpses. Um, this is a self-published book. I got it off Amazon. I love the cover and this is the first book and actually a series and there's like 12 books and it's about a lady who owns a cafe and she solves mysteries and in this one she finds a corpse in her cafe one of her best customers and I thought it would be a fun read something different kind of see if I enjoy them and I hope I do because I love the covers and titles for all of these books like the next one is like lemonade and something and the cover is awesome so yeah hoping to give this cozy mystery a try and see what I think of it next up is a book a lot of people will probably be hauling this month and some people might be unhauling it but that is A Quarter Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Mass. Um, I pre-ordered this. It is the little novella after Quarter Wings and Ruin. Honestly, I was very disappointed with it. I'll be talking about it in my May wrap-up. I love the cover though. I really like the cover of this book and I really hope the next one in this series is good. But I just want to show you guys the Indigo Edition. This is gorgeous. I love it so much. I'm kind of happy I own it. I'm just sad about the inside and the content of this book. But yeah. Anyways, yes, A Quarter Frost and Starlight. Definitely got this this month. And when I pre-ordered A Court of Frost and Starlight, I also pre-ordered The Map of Salt and Stars. Um, this is about a Syrian refugee. Actually, it's about a Syrian refugee going to New York, and then it's set like 200 years later about another girl, and they're connected in some way. I'm really hoping I like this one, and the cover is a beautiful. And I also picked up Out, which um, Joss from Squibbles Reads always recommends. She always talks about it if you want a diverse thriller. This is about a group of Japanese women who witness a murder and they try and cover it up. 
I'm really looking forward to this. I haven't read a diverse thriller, I think, ever. A lot of them aren't, and she really seemed to enjoy it, so I hope I do too. A new release I purchased this month that I'm really excited about is I Was Anastasia by Ariel Lahone. I am so excited for this. This came out in March, and I almost didn't buy it because it was so expensive, but I got it off Amazon with my gift card. This is basically about a girl who says she was Anastasia, she didn't die. I just really want to read this. I'm looking forward to it so much. Like I cannot stop gushing about it. Another book I'm really excited about is The Trauma Cleaner. Um, this is actually the author's memoir. She cleans up crime scenes and this is one of my most anticipated books of the year as well and I think this is just going to be super gory and super interesting because you know like Crime scenes happen and then like, you know, the paramedics come in if they need to, the coroner, the police, the detectives, but who cleans up that shit? There's somebody has got to clean it up. So this is her story and I'm super excited for it. Another book I have here is Roomies by Christina Lauren. I really enjoy Christina Lauren's books and I hear her like newer books like this one are even better than like her Wild Season series and her Beautiful Bastard series. But this is about a guy and a girl who get married so the guy can stay in the country and that's all I really know and I'm really excited for it. I'm hoping this will be a cute little romance with some smut. I also picked up a book for a book club that I joined. Um, it's a Deadly Diva book club. Um, it's run by Lisa from Book and Smiles. And so far, I didn't like May's book, but I'll talk about that in my May wrap up. But for June, we're reading The Lucky Ones, and I'm really excited for this because this is one of my most anticipated reads of, I think, January. And this is about seven orphans who basically went to live with this brain surgeon, and he kind of studied them, and now the surgeon is dying and they got to go back to the house and I don't think it was a very good upbringing. I'm very excited for this and I hope it's a really good thrilling book. Another book I found out through Lisa from Books and Smiles is The Neighbors by Hannah Mary McKinnon. This is another thriller I'm really really excited about. It's about a couple who move in to a new neighborhood and they were involved in kind of a car accident and what has happened is the man that pulled the woman out of the car accident is their next door neighbor and there's a big secret between the couples. There's probably an affair and I'm really looking forward to this one. Lisa really liked it so I hope I do too. This month I also purchased Before I Let You Go by Kelly Rimmer. I'm really excited for this book. This is about a girl who is a doctor and her sister calls her up one day. She hasn't heard from her sister in years and her sister is struggling with a drug addiction but she's also pregnant and in premature labor and if she goes to the hospital she's going to go to jail and lose her baby. So I believe the doctor sister delivers the baby and kind of takes the baby and the sister in and gets her sister clean and I hear it's very very sad and I'm just, I need a sad book once in a while and a book that really makes you think about your life and I'm hoping this will be it. And another 2018 release I've been really wanting to read is Barbed Wire Heart by Tess Sharp and now I own it. Um, I almost didn't buy this because it was very very expensive but the synopsis for this book just sounds so good and I couldn't help myself. It's about a girl who her father is a crime lord. He runs guns, cooks meth, and now there's a big turf war between two other crime families. That's all I really know. It sounds very interesting and very unique and I'm hoping to get to it soon. I also picked up a poetry collection this month. I'm giving poetry another try. I found out about this book through another booktuber. I think in the UK, I cannot remember her name, but if I do, I'll link her channel down below. I know she's a lovely booktuber and I can see her face, but I can't think of her name. But anyways, that is Stripped. And what she really liked about this collection of poetry is it's poetry for evolving women. So women who are already established in their careers have kind of found their way but are just going extra and kind of just evolving with their careers and families and whatnot because the booktuber felt like she wasn't connected to a lot of poetry, especially about like girls who were growing up and dealing with things. Um, but this she really enjoyed, she really connected to. And I kind of feel the same way a lot about a lot of modern poetry. I don't really connect to it um, because I'm at a different phase in my life. And she said this was good and she recommended it. So I purchased it and I'm really excited to read it.
These next two books I picked up because I really enjoyed um, the Archie Sheridan and Gretchen Lowell series, that crime series that you guys saw me read at the beginning of the year in a timely fashion. But these books came up, so I'm hoping I get the same feelings from these books as I did those books. But the first one is Live Alone by Barry Elser. This is about a girl who was put into like the sex trade when she was a really young girl by her parents, and now she's a sex detective. But she's looking for someone called Nansen, and she She's not giving up and finding him. It might have been her sister or her brother or her friend or something. I don't really know. The cover is quite badass and I hear it's a really good thrilling book and written very well. So I'm looking forward to this one. And last but not least, I also picked up Breaking Creed by Alex Cava. Now I found out about this book through my friend Kayla from Literature Reads and she found out about it through one of her co-workers and the co-worker suggested she read it because she liked the Archie Sheridan and Gretchen Lowell books and I already mentioned all about that but this is the other one and I am really looking forward to this. This is about a guy who runs like a dog rescue and they do like drug busts and that's all I really know and they get involved in a crime and it was only eight dollars at chapters so I had to pick it up. All right guys and those are all the books I bought in the month of May 2018. Quite a big book haul. Um, I don't think uh, June will be as big. Let's hope not because I got a lot Lot of books here to read. Anyways, let me know what you guys have been buying lately. Any books on your radar? I'd love to chat to you in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Whatever it takes.